Hello all, welcome to 11th Java tutorial on netstrikers.com. My name is Aditya and today we are going to learn about scopes and lifetime of a variable in Java. So far we have learned that variables can be declared at the start of the main method but or from the scope within it belong but today we are going to test the variable scope. Now scope are the region with the code blocks that is you can see here that you can see here as a opening braces and the curly braces so let's create a variable of int type x now the thing with x is here is it can be accessed within the main method from anywhere that means whenever i create any kind of conditional statement or any kind of other statement or methods it can be x can be accessed from anywhere within the main method itself so let's create let's first initialize the value of x to the 10 and then create a if conditional statement to check whether x is equal to 10 or not so if you probably seeing this for the first time it is a comparative operator it is used to compare things uh, it is used to compare the object so since 10 equal equal 10 so it will going to return true and if true then it will pass to this code block now here in the if code block x can be accessed but i am creating another kind of variable called int y and initialize with 20 value in it now let's print the value of x and y just to check whether we are working right or not So let's compile our code java c followed by scope.java now let's run our code java space scope and as you can see x and y value printed here which are 10 and 20 now let us modify the value of x here so to modify the value of x we need to write x equals to y into 2 because we want x value twice that of y so let us create now since the value of y can be accessible within this certain floor block but what if if i want to initialize the value from here that is after the if code block so let us try and check whether we are working fine or not so let's initialize the value of y as 100 and let's check whether it's printing or not system.out.println and let me pass the value directly here now let's compile our code since we made few changes oh sorry not class file java c scope dot java As you can see in the line number 10 we get the error that cannot find symbol y because the y scope is only present to the if statement not with the main method. So how we can create a, a scope and uh, you already understood that how we can modify the uh, value within the scope. So let us take an example that whether x is present or not. So to just let me the comment this code and let me just write x instead of y. So we can easily grasp the value of x here. Let me recompile our code and run our code. So as you can see value 40 printed here. Since we modified the value of x to y into 2 since y equals to 20 and 20 to the 40. So as you can see. 40 printed here as simple as that so that's it for now in our next tutorial we will learn something more about java programming and if you liked please hit the subscribe button of my youtube channel and if you have any suggestion please comment below in the youtube section i am ready to improve myself as well as i am ready to solve your queries so that's it for now thank you and enjoy your life bye bye